Hey, Jason from Theme Punch here. So today I'm going to show an example that I've set up that you could go ahead and use for your sliders, which I think is really cool. So basically I've got a slider on a page here and you can see it just sort of fits in with the rest of the flow of the page. It's responsive if I were to resize my window here. But let's say I wanted to show a video in a larger size or maybe some other content in a larger size. Well, Slider Revolution has this option where you can go ahead and add a full screen action to any layer. So basically you add a layer to the stage, you go up into the actions tab, and then you use this go full screen action here toward the bottom. And this allows us to do something like this, which is really cool. It takes the entire slider full screen and then displays additional content in the full screen size as well. So I have this set up for YouTube, HTML5 video, Google Maps, which I think is really cool. I've also got some short code examples where we've got a contact form. Uh, let's say you had some terms and conditions you wanted to show. I've got a text example with some scrollable text here. So I'm going to share these example zips with you that you can go ahead and import for your sliders and I'm also just going to review the common elements for this setup so you can go ahead and do it on your own if you wanted. So let's head over to my slider here. I think the best example is the Google Maps. So if we head over to that example there are four common elements for all of these examples. One is the open lightbox button which we have right here. The second is the lightbox background which you can see is this black background here. And then we have the content and then we have the close button which is this X toward the top right. So the magic behind this is we have some actions applied to some of the different layers. So I have an open lightbox button here and if we click the actions tab you can see all of the actions that are common to open the other layers and these are the same actions applied to all of the other slides. So basically what we do here is we go full screen and then we use another really cool action which is start layer in and out animation which allows us to show and hide other layers. And then so of course the reverse is for the close button where we have exit full screen and then we start layer out animation for the light box type elements that we have set up here. And then if I wanted to restyle some of these elements, for example, let's say I wanted to change uh, the button here, I can head up to the style element, I can change the text color, I can head into advanced style, I can change the background color, the background opacity, the padding, and really this can be anything you wanted, any type of layer. So if you want to go ahead and add it, just mimic the actions that you see right up in here for your new layer. And then for the lightbox background, if we head back over to style, we can change the background color, the background opacity. And for the close button, which is this X right up here, this is just an SVG icon, which is the object option here. So I can click edit right from here and I can choose a new SVG object. So I'm going to go ahead and share these example zips with you. And I'll also link to another video tutorial which talks about how you can import individual layers and individual slides which could help you add one of these examples to one of your existing sliders if you wanted. And so I hope you have fun with it. I think there's some really cool usage examples here, especially the video and the Google Maps. So hope this helps and uh, thanks for watching.